Well, I am at Walmart right here, and our beloved Debbie Cease tried to run me off the off the sidewalk here. So we got talking, and it's been about 15 minutes of sharing her heart and her concerns and everything like this. But one thing that stuck out to me that we're spontaneously doing a, a video right now is is because Debbie Cease um, is is our Dime One One coordinator. Our Dime One One coordinator has has a very very busy week, and she said it's it's pressing on her heart that there's so many people who need 911. Um, so I want to encourage you, she needs one more team that's five families, five people that they would, would be willing to, to get food for her. So she's going to share with you what 911 is right here in the middle of Walmart. It shows the importance of it. So Debbie, go ahead and share with us real quick. 911 is set up to serve the people of Taylor's Church. For example, if, you go on, if you're moving, we will go in, serve you and your movers, and serve you a meal the next day. If you're in the hospital sick, we'll bring you food for at least three to four days. It depends on the condition of when you come out of the hospital. It takes the stress off you not having to worry about food and what am I going to cook to eat. If we could get another team, at least four to five members, it would really help. If you've ever been serving 911, please think of what you felt like when we took that stress off of you. We're going to have a meeting right after church on Sunday. Please come and join us for the meeting. God bless and please pray. See what God would have you to do. So, Deb, you're saying um, it's it's once in a while when somebody is in need. If you have five teams, it, it might be once a month or it could be once every couple months. Or like this time, it's like a whole bunch. It's really helping the needs of the church, right? Correct. It helps the people within the church. And sometimes, right now, we just got a run of it. But then a normal 911 run is like every other month or every two months. You don't have to go out all the time. I do know we got a move coming up in a few or four a month as soon as the people get a move-in date. But this this last five weeks has been hectic. We've had people moving, people sick in the hospital, breaking arms, and that is important that we go and serve them and let them know we care. Absolutely, absolutely. So do do they have to be a, a gourmet chef or can they go out to get Kentucky Fried Chicken? You don't have to be a gourmet chef. You can go buy the drive through get Kentucky Fried Chicken, whatever falls in your, in your budget. It don't have to be an elite dinner, just something that you would feed your own, your own family. If it's a hamburger helper and a can some green beans, that's all it takes sometimes. Nothing fancy. All right. So as you can see, you, you can even, I, what I love about Debbie, her she wears her, her heart on her face. She goes about to cry there and everything, and um, she probably is right about right now because she is so passionate about making sure that our people at Catalyst Church are taken care of. Um, so if you're interested um, in being a part of Dine One One, if you're not on the team, and uh, if you would like to be a part, of, a part of the team, go ahead and reply to this right now. Just reply at the bottom of this Facebook or, or just send me a message at Dave at my Catalyst church.org or you can send Debbie a message. Um, what is your phone number, Debbie? 4848787. And you don't have to be female. You can be a man too to serve on Dine One One. Okay. So you got that. Get involved. What a great way to connect with others and in service here at Catalyst Church. So reply right now.